Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about something just a little bit different. And we're actually going to be revisiting something that I've talked about in the past. And that is the Baldrick rig, or currently how I'm carrying my battle lore. And I know many of you guys are probably familiar with this rig or this system because of winter carry. And it is a really great way to carry your knives in the woods in the winter. However, I started experimenting with this setup and this rig outside of winter to actually see what it's like just in general to carry because something that I like about this rig is it has a lot of similar characteristics to neck knife carry. Okay guys, so like I was saying, this basically the system of the Baldrick rig allows you to carry larger knives in a similar manner to a neck knife. Now what I mean by a similar manner is the idea when you carry a neck knife is to get your knife off your belt so that it's not uh, taking up space for you know survival kits or guns or knives or other tools that you might be using or carrying with you. It also helps uh, with backpacks to not have an interference with the backpack. And it also um, is handy in colder climates like we kind of know with the Baldrick rig already because you know you don't have to you know reach and try to uncover you know jackets or coats or any type of other layers you have over you that could be crowding out your knife. It's also easier to carry and generally uh, sheath and resheath or sorry it's also easier to uh, unsheath your knives and resheath your knives when you have something like a neck knife or a baldrick rig because you can very clearly see your sheath like if I was carrying scout style with my Tom Brown tracker on the back of me you know it's very hard to see behind you when you go to resheath the knife whereas if you have something you know right here that's in your line of view I continue to look or I can continue to look pretty straightforward you know maybe adjust my point of view to kind of see the knife and you know put it back so it's really handy in those ways and that got me thinking you know why do I just use this during the winter why not use it year round as a general carry system? Because once again, you know, belt space tends to be for me pretty, uh, pretty prime space because, you know, I'm usually running a survival kit and a gun on the belt, as you guys can see. And so there's a lot of things that need to go on the belt that I can't easily put other places. So the knife is one of those that I can, with relative ease, move other places. And one of those is this system. The other thing I've been liking about this system because I have been going out and doing fishing, doing hunting, doing uh, general bushcrafting tasks. I've been trying to put this rig, this Baldrick rig, with the knife into a different a plethora of different circumstances to see how well it performs at those. And I think that's important because uh, when I'm generally bushcrafting, I'm not in super dense brush, but when I'm hunting, a lot of times I'm in super dense brush, kind of busting through it to get to places. A lot of times with duck hunting, you know, to get to these ponds and to get to these sloughs, like of what I'm behind right now, or what's behind me right now, I should say, uh, you know, you have to go through a lot of dense and thick brush. So navigating that uh, becomes an issue when you have, you know, little hang ups and stuff like that or when you have like hang-ups and your gear is not wanting to really cooperate with you, you know, that can cause a lot of issues. And it can cause you to honestly lose game because if you're creating too much racket trying to go through thick brush, you know, your game animals are going to hear you and leave before you even get there. So anyways, I'm happy to say though that the Baldrick rig is really nice in, like I said, the similar ways that a neck knife is then in the way that, you know, if you have a knife on your belt, you know, it's actually sticking off of you and making your profile wider. With something like the Baldrick rig, as you guys can see here, it's under my arms, so when I'm just standing here, or when I'm walking through the woods, or like I'm talking to you guys, this doesn't really add a lot of width to me, if anything at all, because it's under my arms. So, you know, my shoulders, my hips, they're not increasing in size due to this rig. Those are a lot of the reasons why I've really been enjoying it. I'm sure you guys are seeing in videos more and more that I'm actually carrying this knife at, on its Baldrick rig because it's very convenient. And another thing I like is, and one of the reasons why I got this uh, Battle Horse Knives Battle Lore with a dangler sheath is I wanted to test, not only do I like uh, danglers on my belt, but I wanted to test it with this Baldrick rig and see how it performed. And what I like over just running this Baldrick rig 
through a standard belt loop like this. What I like about the dangler is it allows me to have more leverage and to have the knife have more play. And that's not only good when carrying because it allows the knife to kind of do its own thing, you know, and it can kind of adjust if it gets brushed up against a tree, you know, it's not going to just hang up on the tree, it's going to get, you know, brushed out of the way. So that's nice, but what I really like uh, having the dangler feature is when I go to unsheath this knife, I can bend this knife to be a you know 90 degree angle from my body and make it very easy to unsheath. And it's done very effortlessly and because this dangler allows more play in the sheath, I don't really have to fight with the sheath or with this paracord. The knife can just, or the sheath can just be bent this way and it makes it a lot easier to sheath uh, my knife or take it out of its sheath very easily. So if I'm working on a game animal, you know, I can easily just pop it out of its sheath and then when I'm done, you know, very easily resheath it without much of a conscious effort, which is nice because you don't want to be battling or, you know, trying to stab around in the dark to get your knife back in its sheath. You just want to be able to, you know, place it back and be done of it. Would I recommend this for you guys? Well, here's what I would recommend if you guys are contemplating going to a Baldrick rig. I would heavily recommend you check it out. I'm actually going to leave a link in the description below to the YouTube video that shows you how to tie a paracord Baldrick rig. It doesn't take more than about three or four feet worth of cord to do this depending on your body size. Um, and it allows you to at least experiment with it and see if this type of carry or this type of rig is for you. And then if you like that a lot and you end up, you know, this becomes one of your fast and steady systems, I would highly encourage, I'm gonna leave another link in the description below, I'm not affiliated with this company at all, but um, it just looks like a really good quality adapter that allows you to slip basically a leather adapter into any of your belt loops and convert your knife into a Baldrick rig style. So I'm going to leave those in the description below if you want to learn more about this rig. It's something that, like I said, I would highly encourage. I love neck knives. I love the, how to carry neck knives. But the biggest issue for me has always been with neck knives. You're very much constrained with the size of knife you can realistically carry on your neck, you know, just as a necklace essentially. Because if you carry something as big as this, it's just not going to make a lot of sense. And not only that, you're going to put a lot of strain on your neck. And as others have said, there are safety issues with the neck knife system where if it does get caught up in brush, you know, especially if the knife, you know, was to, you know, go back around and get caught up in brush, it can choke you. What I like about the Baldrick rig is because it's also around your shoulder, it mitigates, one, the probability of your knife getting caught up in brush, and two, if it does get caught up for whatever reason, you know, the pressure's being applied predominantly right here at the base of my neck and at my shoulder. The other thing I like about it too, unlike a neck knife, if you have your neck knife exposed and not the sheath not tucked away under your shirt, you know, when you bend down to do stuff, you know, your neck knife will just flop out in front of you and be like hanging out here. With this, it does still slide out in front of you like this, but I actually like that because if I'm reaching down to do something and I do need my knife, it's put out right in front of me so I can easily grab it. But if I do want it, I, if I do need it out of my way, I can easily slide it behind me and continue to work with my knife just being back here because it is on, you know, one continuous loop. I can slide it behind me, you know, do work down here, stand up, you know, slide it back, go about my day. Or like I said, if I want it in front of me, I can have this knife, you know, dangling and it's not just dangling straight out in front of me, it's dangling right about here so I can easily grab it if I need to end up cutting something. So anyways, guys, that's all I have to say about this topic. Probably went on too long, but as always, God bless and I'm out.